Good evening, church. Let us spend some time in scripture here on this Thursday night. Uh, we're going to read the first chapter of the Old Testament book of Ezra. Uh, not a book that we've spent a hell of a heck of a lot of time in, typically as the church, but it's a it's an important book, a very pivotal. Uh, it's a book about a very pivotal time in the history of God's people. So let us let us now listen to the uh, the words of the prophet Ezra and. Uh, let us hear what God has to say to us today. In the first year of King Cyrus of Persia, in order that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be accomplished, the Lord stirred up the spirit of King Cyrus of Persia so that he sent a herald throughout all his kingdom and also in written edict declared, Thus says King Cyrus of Persia, The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and has charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem in Judah. Any of those among you who are of his people, may their God be with them, are now permitted to go up to Jerusalem in Judah and rebuild the house of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let all survivors in whatever place they reside be assisted by the people of their place with silver and gold, with goods and with animals, besides free will offerings for the house of God in Jerusalem. The heads of the families of Judah and Benjamin and the priests of the Levites, everyone whose spirit God had stirred, got ready to go up and rebuild the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All their neighbors aided them with silver vessels, with gold, with goods, with animals, and with valuable gifts. Besides, all that was freely offered. King Cyrus himself brought out the vessels of the house of the Lord that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and placed in the house of his gods. King Cyrus of Persia had them released into the charge of Mithrada, the treasurer, who counted them out to Shezba, Shezbazar, the prince of Judah. And this was the inventory. Gold basins, 30. Silver basins, 1,000. Knives, 29. Gold bowls, 30. Other silver bowls, 410. Other vessels, 1,000. The total of the gold and silver vessels was 5,400. All these Shezbazar brought up when the exiles were brought up from Babylon yeah, to Jerusalem. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Truly the, the beginning of a very important time in the history of God's covenant people, a time when the empire of Babylon was conquered by the empire of Persia, and the people who had been taken from Judah to Babylon were told, hey, go home and rebuild the house of God there. It began a time of joy, and a time also of consternation because they got to see the reminders of how their city was destroyed, how their temple was destroyed. And they saw what a great, what a great uh, massive undertaking it would be to rebuild the temple. But they did. They brought their life back. They rebuilt the temple and they continued on as a people. Not the same as they were, but a people nonetheless. Let us pray. Gracious God, help us to always have a spirit of rebuilding that which was destroyed, not to simply go back to what was, but to move forward into the future, to build better than what had been destroyed, and to build in greater faith, faith in you and loyalty to you and trust in you and in no other. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you found this beneficial, go ahead and share it with your friends. Take care of each other out there, and I'll see you next time.